Oh, good. I wanted to test my sound. Hey, Becky. Hi. Hi, Eric. I wanted to test my sound because it didn't play last time. Okay. Yeah. It came on real late and I didn't test it with you. Um, let's just start some high notes. Oh, sure. That playing? No? They, as soon as you play those high notes, it cuts out. Okay, so I think, I'm, I think I know what to do. I'm going to do it right now. Um, it's down here. Okay. You hear that? It, it like the first two notes come out and then it cuts off. You know, I I think you should just back up maybe three three okay, feet. How about this? Um, how was that? Yeah, it's 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 better? not cutting out. It's not cutting out. Oh, is it cutting out? It's still cutting out. Yeah, we're um. I have, um, up there I have, it says, turn on original sound. Okay, that's correct. Okay. Um, and then I got the microphone halfway, the speaker halfway. Oh, should I hit automatically adjust microphone volume? No, that should be unchecked. Oh, okay. Um, how about, um, Suppress, suppress background noise. I don't see have, that anymore. You don't have that? Okay. I, I used to see that somewhere, but. Okay. Um, so here it is. It's automatic. Yeah, put that on low. How's that? It's not cutting out now. Oh, okay, so that's it. I'm gonna take a picture of this. <laughs> yeah, I bet that's what it is. Okay, I'll take a picture and I could refer back to it. But it's okay now. Let me do it one more time. Um, that's okay? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it a little bit closer. That's okay? That's good. That's okay. good. So yeah. I can do it closer. Okay, good. Yeah. Great. Hello, kitty. What's your cat's name? <laughs> That's Chewy. Chewy? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Chewy. Say hi, bud. Say hi. He's very bashful when other people come to the house. He goes in the basement and Nobody, nobody who comes to my house thinks that I have a cat, but that's exactly how we are. Our cat is like less than six pounds, and it just runs. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, he's about twenty pounds. He's a big boy. Yeah. See, I have a really tiny, tiny cat. Yeah. Abby never comes in here when I'm having this either. Yeah. Here's the noise. How old is your cat? He is, um, I, I rescued him. I, uh -huh. I think he's us. probably eight or nine. Yeah, ours is like 13. Yeah. And just came down with a heart murmur, and they say that's really bad. He has, he has a bad heart murmur, and. Oh, he does? What did you do about it? Um, I, I took him to the cardi, vet cal cardiologist. Yes. And, um, I've got medications I give him every day for his blood pressure and oh. um, to try to keep, I guess it's a, it's a um, what is it? It's like some kind of a um, adrenaline or something that makes his heart grow incorrectly. So his valve, the, one of the valves is collapsing. So, so where, who did you go see? Because I mean, it, I can't get in until October. Oh, there's a, a a cardiologist specialist in Rochester. Rochester. In downtown Rochester, yeah. Downtown Rochester. She didn't tell me about that. Yeah. 
they're really they're really good but one of the problems is he needs to be on plavix uh -huh. and um plavix is a really bitter uh, yeah, see, my can't I can't get near it to give it anything. Yeah. I won't be able to give the medicine. So I I don't know if I should bring her in because this is no way I could get near her. Yeah. So there are three pills that I give him every day that are not bitter. And I I just um I have to cut the pills in half. Okay. And then I, I put a little drop of water on them and they dissolve right away okay. when I put the water on them. And then I just use some canned food and I mix it in with the canned food and he yes, eats it. I wonder it. if our cat would even mix it so it just dissolves so I could do that but yeah. I mean as soon as, as soon as I try to put mix in the Plavix he won't eat it. It's but, like six hundred dollars for the ultrasound or something I got a quote. Oh really no it wasn't that much. A, it was like outrageous and then yeah. the two hundred dollars just to see the cat. You have to see I, it before the ultrasound, so it's two hundred plus another like three fifty for the oh, ultrasound. I, I think they only charged me two hundred for the visit and for the ultrasound. No, I would do that. Yeah. Huh, Rochester, downtown. So just a look yeah, up. Let me get the the name. I've got it on my refrigerator. Just a sec. Let's see. I, I can't find the name of the place, but it's a, a veterinary cardiologist. Um, you ready for the number? Yep. It's 248-420, oh no, wait, 402-4322. So 402-4322. Yeah. Are you familiar with downtown Rochester at all? I used to see patients in downtown Rochester 30 years ago. Okay. I used to have patients all up there. Yeah. It's right off of uh, First Street. Okay. Um, oh, on the same side as Nat, like Naps, where Naps is. Yeah, it's been ages since I worked up there. Okay, yeah. I used to do hospice up there. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. Both both of my parents grew up in Rochester. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 I remember a couple of those patients I had up there. Yeah. I did a Zoom session yesterday. There was like four, over 40 people in it, 40 to 45 people. Hi, you guys. Hi, oh, Brad wow. Joe. They were from hey Denmark and Australia, um, um, all over the place, mm -hmm. Scotland, Ireland. Wow, cool. But it was mostly singers. Was it? Yeah. And there's some professional uh, musicians. So. So, 
Hi, Fred. Hi, Hi Joe. Hi, Fred. Hi, Eric. Hi, Becky. How's everybody doing? Hi, Joe. Doing good. Eric, Happy. you're looking out the front window, huh? I, well, yes. Yeah, I am. I, I got a new uh, standing desk. Okay. So I put it right in front of the window, so I got a good view. Nice. Yeah, it's still light outside. Yeah. yeah it's look beautiful. at my window. Yeah. I and see the, the trees outside. Yeah. We need to be quiet today. <clears throat> the other day, I had a bald eagle out here swooping around, that diving, so getting cool. fish. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, wow. It's very, very Does cool. Does it have a nest nearby? I don't think there are any nesting on the other side of the lake. It's all woods. Uh -huh. At least they come, they've come. they been coming around maybe for the last six or seven years, but I've, I've never seen where any of them were nesting nearby. I don't know. Oh, oh can't hear you, Fran. Why not? Oh, I can hear you now. <laughs> it wasn't close enough. Uh, I remember several years ago when Mark and I were visiting Sean and Judy up at uh, Peach Lake, and uh, we tour around the perimeter of the lake, and and Judy would say, "Oh, there's there's where the eagles nesting. See, you know." And we'd get out the binoculars, yeah, high up on a tree. That's cool. Yeah. Fran, look at what I got in the mail yesterday. Um, I'm going to do a concertina workshop in Ireland. So they sent Whoa. this out to me. Nice. Oh, cool. So um, it, it doesn't fit awesome. at all. It's pretty useless. <laughs> but it's kind of cool. You know, it says, it says fan cyan. Someone make, an, make an armband out of it or something. Hmm. Never thought of that. What does fan cyan mean? Someone told me. Someone looked it up, and I can't remember what they said it was. Is it stay, is stay safe or something? I don't probably look at. Let me look it up. Well, I have to look it up. Fan cyan. No, slan. Fan slan. Slan is peace, right? Like slan. Is it? Well, like like yeah. if you're saying salute or hello or goodbye, S L A N. If that's how it's they spell it. Slan, slan, yeah. Irish. Can Can you hold it? How, how do you spell it? It's um, S L A, N. So it says, yeah, stay safe. Okay. Um, Cian means um, is used as farewell and um, often appears on signs, roads leaving a town. So it's just safe. And fan, I'm not sure what fan means. It probably says, here it is. Um, fan it must mean stay safe or something. Yeah. Irish is a funny language, um, it's spoken like a true uh, monoglot here, um, but <laughs> but I mean it, it's very. I should just say it's really different from English. Just what little I know about it, like you know, it could just be like "have safe on you" would be a literal translation, you know, possibly. Yeah, yeah it could. Be. Hey, John. Welcome back. <laughs> and that, that sounds better, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I've been away a little while. I saw that the uh, Gaelic League, there's some activity starting again down there. And the bar's open, 88 people could be in it. Um, but we didn't feel right be it was the last bar we went to before lockdown. We walked there from our house and, um, that was the last time we were there. 
we knew it was going to be the last time in a bar because they were ready yeah. to shut down that week. So, um, have you returned and tried it out? Well, we were walking real close to there, but we don't want to go in the bars right now, even though yeah. we're back, both vaccinated. It didn't feel safe. So. Um, so, um, I got it from a Pat O'Connor CD and he calls it Carty's Pigeon. It's a real. What's the first word? Carty's Pigeon, like somebody whose last name is Carty. C-A-R-T-Y. But I don't think you can find it under that name on the session, but you know, you'll get the particulars later. And um, I think another name of it, oh shoot, uh, Drogadilasses or Drogadilasses, but that tune seems to be a little bit different than this one that I'm going to teach. Jigger or real? Real. And uh, of course, I don't pay attention to what key something's in and I forgot to look. It might be like E minor or something. two times through it's a it's a double reel I think sometimes it might be played as a single but um, I'm teaching it as a double because that's how I learned it so I'll take you through kind of measure by measure and phrase by phrase it's a it's a simple tune because there's a lot of repeated uh, phrases and um, and I guess just wave me down if you've got questions. So. That's the first measure. Second measure. measures together. And the third measure is pretty close to the first one. measure oh, it may 
Wait, is that all in four? Yeah. So the third and the fourth measures together. first four measures together. So you notice that I, <laughs> on the uh, third measure, uh, the first note, I, I didn't do uh, two quarter notes. Sometimes that happens when you go through a tune like this. so far? Do we need to slow down or? Okay. And I'm going to take just a quick pause to let the cat out. Excuse me. Okay, fifth measure of the A part. I'm going to go through all the first four measures till I get to the fifth. So I select the first measure. But the sec uh, the sixth measure is different. So the fifth and sixth measures are six measures of the A part a couple times. measures Everybody okay? 
okay with that last couple of measures? Okay. Ready to do the whole A part through a couple of times or so? All right. Wait, I'm a little out of tune here. many times I went through it. Uh, any questions? No? Okay. So we'll go on to the B part. I guess I, I shouldn't put the pickup in there. Guys, okay with that? No. No. One, yeah. one more. Can we do one more time? Yeah. Okay. If, you just could play it one more time. That would be helpful. I won't try to play. I just want to make sure I have it in my ear. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to do it real slow. And I know it seems funny to stop on that F sharp, but then the next measure is So it's similar, but the end of it is different. So the next Next little bit being. So instead of going up, you go down at the very end. Brand, so when you played it at the beginning, I think you had an A. Yeah. Oh yeah, sometimes I throw that in there. You're right. Ah, let's see. Thanks. That's better. It kind of differentiates. But you can goof off and do it the other way too, like I did. times. 
Yes, says uh, Lauren, okay. I'll do it one more time. Okay, so let me just just a minute. I have to cat's tearing the screen apart. Hold on. cat sitter. Okay. Well, so far in the B part we've done. So now we're going to start up on that high G. for the distractions. I'm going to have to play it through to remember that the last little bit of that phrase. Isn't that weird? Are you guys getting any of this? <laughs> It's all being recorded, Fran. Huh? It's all being recorded, so we've got it forever. Right. 
everybody okay with that mess I made of that, or do you need clarification? Okay. Then I'm going to take... Could what? You maybe play, play that B part through all the way. Okay. Times. Well, I haven't given you guys the end yet, but... Okay. Uh, okay. Not, I'll do it. measures are us back to the repeat of the B part. So I'll just do the whole B part and you guys stop me when you have questions. instead of staying up and that takes takes us back to the a part <coughs> questions so Fran, can you spend a <laughs> I, i'm i'm sorry to do this to you no, that's fine. can you spend can you spend a little bit of time on those last you know the, the, that transition that you were having difficulty with oh, yeah, the sure. last probably, um, <laughs> and, and then the last yeah that's i, I apologize no. in advance so the last four measures Oops, sorry. You can teach it. <laughs> okay, here we go. For me, I think it's bar 14 that's really throwing me. Okay. 
where you kind of are playing, I, I can't tell if it's an F sharp or a G in there. There's some little something going on. No, it'd be great if you went over it a few okay. more times. Uh, do you want me to start high or just go uh, right there? Yeah, that's what that's the phrase that I keep doing. I, every time I do it, I do it a different way. Because I screwed you up. <laughs> okay, so. Sorry. instead of going up it goes nicely back into the A part so are we uh, strong enough on the tune to, to go through the whole thing or slowly or not I'm not getting any no's all right We'll go through it a few times, and uh, I'll try not to screw it up.
because this guy was sitting in front of me. I couldn't see if anybody was making faces and needed help. So, uh, weak spots, you want me to fly through it a couple more times? What's your preference? I'm still struggling a little bit in the A part where the where it goes into the the lower on the on the D string where it's going to the I'm not sure which okay. measure it is, but uh, probably the uh, the third and fourth phrases of the A part. Uh, so I think so. Yeah, and you know sometimes I play. Two quarter notes, is, I mean two eighth notes, and sometimes they play a quarter note at the beginning of it. Sometimes the beginning is like, a, oops. So sometimes it's just, sometimes I play. So that fifth measure might be your problem area. measure fools you a little bit because all the rest of the time we're when we rock back and forth we hit the this note first we go but on that part we go so So it goes to the... I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, that's all right. Oh. Empty cat food bag. Okay, what? So it goes to the lower note in the arpeggio first, as opposed to the other times when we're yeah, rocking. Yeah, it hits the, the D before. Before it hits the, yeah, the C yeah. sharp. So... Does this does this sound right? Okay, go ahead. Oh, no, sorry. Yep, exactly okay. what I was playing. Okay. Anybody else want to give it a shot and see if they have the right thing? Nope. Okay. So, any other questions? Okay, so there's the tune. I don't know if you like it, but I do. <laughs> yeah, that's a great tune, and I'm not familiar with it. It's a little it. brooding, and it, it sounds really good on fiddle, and it sounds really good on flute. I had a flute class at the Cat Skills in 2014 with John Craven, and he taught it there, but I already had it from the um, Pat O'Connor album. And what's the whole thing? It was Cardi's what was it? Pigeon. Cardi's Pigeon. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And I have to go, but I did want to learn one more tune and see everybody tonight before I do. So, okay. so thank you. I'll see you next week. Okay, good enough. Thank, thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.
question. Fran, you mentioned um, that maybe it was a double reel and not a single reel. Right. Uh, what What's the difference between the two? What's a single well, reel? Well, um, a single reel repeats, or the A part is eight measures and the B part is eight measures. In the double reel, the A part of eight measures gets repeated and the B part of eight measures gets repeated. So it's twice as long and it all has to do with dancing, which maybe somebody else could better explain all that. I can't. Cool, cool, thank you. <laughs> yeah. And then there's also uh, single jigs, same, same thing applies and, and double jigs. Most, a lot of the jigs we play are double jigs. And sometimes they could be played as one or the other, depending. Is you that know, right? I think uh, depending on what region and what tradition they're played in, sometimes it is that way. There's a lot of uh, inconsistencies, but that's okay. Yeah, the, I know the single jig in dance is different than what we would call the light jig. Okay. It's a little. I don't know specifically what differentiates them, just that they compete separately and the light jig usually is shorter, or the, the single jig is shorter than the light jig. Right, yeah. Um, and slip jig, which is everyone's, depending on who you are, everyone's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it's it's interesting. There's There are a lot of fine uh, things to know, differences. Okay, Eric, I'm done. I had slip to all the dances I do because that's what happens to me, right? So I have slip <laughs> salsa in. Cool. Thanks, so Frank. Be Becky, yeah, Becky, that one uh, goes pretty well on uh, concertina. That's a, a real nice tune, and I'm I'm not familiar with it. I like that one a lot. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Yeah, it's got that. Well, the way I taught it, it's got that Pat O'Connor what the the, the 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 rhythm. He's really, if you look at any of his other stuff on YouTube, it's it seems similar in rhythm. His other reels that I've heard him play. I was expecting it to sound sort of like Pigeon on the Gate or something. Yeah. Just from the title. Yeah, wouldn't you? <laughs> yep. Okay. I'll be quiet. Thank you. Thank you, Fran. That was great. It's a nice tune. Thanks. Yeah. I see uh, Susan Rose. Are, are you, you're new joining us, aren't you, today? I am. I'm checking you all out. <laughs> oh, great. Great. I don't have any music. I didn't. I didn't download the link. I'm having a little trouble with my iPad, and I'm. I've got to get it fixed somehow. I just. Yeah. So. Oh, that's all right. I'm not hammer dulcimer. If you're wondering. All right. Okay. Oh, good. Great. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, that that, that cool. would sound great on hammer dulcimer. I would think. Yeah. That would be great. Where where are you from? I'm in Saline. Saline. Oh, okay. Great. Do you know Bob Hubbock? I don't. You don't. Okay. But I do have a fiddle. Maybe maybe I would drag that out. Okay. <laughs> Fifty years. <laughs> well, Susan, I'm I'm in Ann Arbor. Nearby. Okay, Fran. Yeah. Well, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Yeah. Do you know of Silver Strings Dulcimer Society? No. I've never been to it. And then, you know, over COVID, actually, they have a jam tonight, too. So I might skip on over to that for, <laughs> for a little while. Cool. Well, we're going to start the, the slow session now. So, uh, Let's see, James, you got one you want to share? 
got good old coolies reel. Okay. Nice. That was great. Thank you, James. Thanks, James. Becky, you're up next. I'm going to um, play uh, Drones Drummers and the Holly Bush. Okay. So, um... <laughs> up here. Thank you. 
Sounds nice, Becky. Whoops. Yeah, that was great. Where is my Zoom? I Good just stuff. lost there. There. Lost my Zoom there. <laughs> we still we still hear you. Becky, oh. I'm impressed you went up to that high G sharp. Yeah. Um, That's tricky. My teacher says don't even try an A, but I said, Air, I mean, Tim taught us an A, so I want to learn it in A. So I want to also learn it in G too, but. All right. Um, yeah, that's practice getting up to that G. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, you're up next. Okay. I'll play uh, the humors of Bally Connell and then uh, the high reel.
It's really getting blustery here. I've got wind coming. I think we're going to get some starting to get spring storms down here. Lucky blustery here too. Well, blustery here. Just right, I'm going to sign off. I'll see you guys next week. Night, Donna. Okay. Night, Donna. Go as well. Bye, bye, guys. Bye, bye Lauren. Bye, Lauren. Good night. Night. Yeah, I definitely got cool. Those chickens. Yeah. <laughs> definitely got cooler here today. Yes. Yep. Yeah, here too. Yeah, I froze walking the dog just an hour ago. It was really cold. Yeah. Oh, another kitty. Yeah. Um, let's see. Fran, it's it's your turn. It would have been Donna, but oh, okay. She left. Um, all right. Well, maybe I'll try wandering minstrel and whatever the name of the tune is that comes after it. Passing the leg on her, maybe. <laughs>
that's enough. Nice set. Those are nice jigs. Nice, and thanks for that. What was the second one? Anyone know? I think fasten it's fasten the leg in her. It's fasten the leg in her. Okay. Fast. It's yeah. about a prosthetic. Right. There, there are a couple ah. tools close. Ah. But that's a kind of, I think that's a moderately common set. So if you went onto YouTube, you might be able to, if you, if you looked up the wandering minstrel, you might be able to hear that one after. Yeah. Thank you, Fran. Uh, Mark, you're up next. Uh, we haven't done the Banks of Newfoundland for a few weeks, and I think we're still sort of slow. So, yeah. um, let's see if I can remember how to play it. What's that called again? Banks of Newfoundland. I used to have an account there. <laughs> an offshore account, eh? It's where you kept all your drug money. Who was who was that, Tim? Do you work on Canadian Tire? I meant a bank account at the Bank of Newfoundland. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I did work on Canadian Tire. Okay. <laughs> and they probably paid you in free beer. Just tires and hockey equipment. <laughs> okay. Uh, John, it's nice to have you back with us. It's nice to be back, but I'm going to pass tonight, Eric. Are you, okay. Yep. That's all right. Uh, let's see. I guess that would be me. So my, my wrist is feeling better tonight. Um, I don't know. It's probably because I haven't played in a month, but it's probably going to feel bad again tomorrow. Yeah, but go for it, Eric. I'm going to go for it, I guess. Um, Ignore the pain, Eric. Ignore the pain. There's not, there's very little pain right now, so. Yeah, hopefully it stays that way. Um, 
what do I want to play? Um, Sorry, I gotta start over. Now, I can't remember the B part, sorry. I'll give you a hint. Oh, yeah. I better not try. I'm I'm making too many mistakes there. Sorry. Hey Ashley. What are you playing? I was trying to play the golden keyboard, but I forgot the B part. So how are you feeling, Ashley? Um, a little dizzy and queasy. Okay, so if you disappear, we'll know. Yeah, I'll just like, right towards the end of the ride back, I was like, uh, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. How long did you get? This Pfizer one, ah. second one, so. We'll see. Yeah. I, had I took the day off tomorrow, preemptively, just in case, so. 
So you got it today? Yeah. She just got I did back. the second Moderna yesterday, and I, I was great yesterday, and yesterday night, and then woke up, and all day I've been just achy. Nothing horrible, but achy and headachy, body ache, mm -hmm. headache. Um, the feeling of progress. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that'll be my lot next Thursday, so. Mm. But if I don't show up, you'll know why. <laughs> we'll know why. I know everybody has to take their turn. <laughs> oh. Tim, Tim, it's your turn. Um, we could do those uh, Sheehan's three jigs. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea.
was called, Tim? Um, it's not the only name, but we learn them as Sheans, Sheans, and Sheans. <laughs> um, nice job, Tim. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Do you have those written out? I do yeah. not. I yesterday started to look at it on the session, and I, I've got open the page open, but I haven't actually read it yet. Yeah. It is the same tune. What did they call it here? Hold on a second. I think I had found one of them there a little while back. Um, is this the one? I know we had them in that drive from Nick and Allison, but I can't get to that drive anymore. It's like, doesn't exist. I'll, I'll try to send them to you, Ashley. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I lost everything from that class. That's where I wanted them too. I, I can't. This one is called Cheer Up, Old Hag. That's right. <laughs> I remember that now. <laughs> and it has like four other names, none of them being Sheehan's, of course. Yeah. Just for fun. Just I like that name better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Easier to remember. Cool. Okay. Well, thank thank you, Tim. I, I needed that reminder. Well, it's good to remember. Now I'm signing off. Good night. See you, John. Good night, John. Good seeing you. Yeah, good to see you, too. Take it easy. It's nice to remember tunes that we were taught, you know? Yeah. A lot of them don't get played that much. I was thinking about the, the crazy Frenchmen. It's like, I think we played one of those tunes once after we were taught those by uh, Michelle. Uh, Michelle. Michelle uh, I like that one jig he taught. I kept playing it afterwards a lot, but the yeah, other one's it's oh, really no. pretty. There were some decent tunes in that batch. Yeah. Worth digging up. Can make that a project. Yeah. Reteach some of them, maybe. And I we haven't um, played that many. Um, Ones we learned the year before from uh, uh, Colleen. She taught like, us a real uh, nice Master's batch. Return and some What's of those. that? Master's Return and some of those. No, I don't know. Oh, I, I know you're talking about the other ones that we learned. Um, the we old, learned. Oak and, old oak tree or something. Yeah, it's a really great right. reel. We have played that a few times. Yeah. Like um, the Fenor. Jig, which is a um, the there's one. Um, what was that old Carolyn tune that she taught us? I don't um, remember that. Well, that's from the year before. I don't. That was from the year. Not talking about that. Okay. Okay. Anyway, it's, it's just nice to dig these up once in a while. Yeah. Sprinkle them in. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, somebody's asking me for attention over here. Um, James, we're back around to you. Okay, well, in that vein of talk, I, I totally forgot the name of it, but um, it's one of the jigs we learned in December. Um, it might be the bus stop one or trip to Berkeley. What, oh, I don't remember the name. The one that goes. Let's try that one. Yeah, one of Marty, one of Marty's tunes. Yeah. Okay. Brandier. Brand, you're not muted, by the way. Oh, she got it. Okay, here we go.
I need to look at that B part a little bit, but it's a nice tune though. Yeah. Me too. I was like the A part fine and the B part I'm like may as well not have learned it. I don't remember it. I need to look at all the notes. Uh, Becky, you're up next. Yeah, I, I don't have another tune for tonight. No? Okay. <laughs> Joe, it's your turn. Unmute. Um, I'm going to try uh, Jackie Coleman's which we haven't played forever. And uh, Fran got me thinking about this because I'll follow it up with Pigtown Fling, um, which is, I think, how that is on uh, uh, at Matt Malloy's, music at Matt Malloy's. Is, I think that's the first track. And I was trying to learn the uh, um, Noel Hill version of it. It's not terribly different, but it's enough that I'll try not to... Uh, I play it in G. But anyway, uh, Jackie Coleman's. The Pigtown Fling, or I think just Pigtown Fling. <clears throat> I don't know if it has a the in front of it. Not that it matters, but. That reminds me of a, a <clears throat> John, John Gorka song. You're familiar with him. He's a folk singer. He has a song called, what was it? Hot, Hot Time in Pigtown or something yeah. like that. 
So I don't know, Joe and Mark, if you remember one time we were at Judy's and I brought over a Randall Bayes album and put it on the player and it had uh, Pigtown Fling on it. And Judy's like, oh. <laughs> Was that the Salmon's Leap? Is that on there? No, it's on uh, an earlier one with some harmonica on it. Joel Bernstein is on it. Okay. Anyway. What is uh, Pigtown referring to? <clears throat> I like to I like to think it's uh my hometown of Cincinnati, Ohio. Which uh I as I was explaining I think a few weeks ago is uh one of the names that they threw around they were going to call it Porkopolis which uh I kind of kind of sorry they didn't. <laughs> That would have been pretty cool. <laughs> sort of. The t shirt it would have been worth it for the t shirt alone. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh Fran. It's your turn. Uh okay. I'm gonna give a shot at playing the Holly Bush reel in the sporting patty. Just give me a minute to remember how it starts. Darn it. Okay, here we go.
But alas. <laughs> Those are good tunes, though. Yeah, the tunes yeah. are good. Great set. Thank you, Fran. Mark, you're up there, sir. Okay. Um, have you uh, have you get, been able to get uh, strings on that five string yet, or is it still? Uh, uh, no. Uh, sometime this weekend. Some fun. Okay. Hopefully. Yeah. Cool. And then after that, it will probably become a three string. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, um, what's the name of those tunes? Like, uh, uh, Roll Out the Barrel in the Tap Room in the Earl's Chair? We haven't done those for a while, have we? I don't know if anybody's... Um, all right, well, I'll give it a shot. Maybe twice through. We'll see if I make it all the way through. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's a classic set. Yep. Did I actually make it through all right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. That's, thanks for bringing that out, Mark. You know, I've probably played it so a few times in my life. I'm not holding my end of the bargain of uh, playing Claire Tunes. Or Claire really? Tunes. I thought you would have played that one a lot. Well, yeah, but not for a while, maybe. Yeah, I need to play it more. I was just playing that set this week, so oh, yeah. that's good. Where'd you get it from? I don't remember. What, what's that? Oh, there's an album. What album is that on? You mean that old one? Yeah. The yeah, old. that's the one. That's where, <laughs> where it all started, I think. Mm -hmm. Patty Canny and yes. Joe yeah. and Petter Lachlan. <clears throat> and historic yeah. recording of traditional Irish music from Galway and East Clare, I think is the, some long title like that. Yeah. Wow, it's like footnotes, good job. Yeah. Yep. Good night, everybody, I'm off. Oh, night, James. Good night, good night, James. I'm gonna have to jump off as well, so see you all, thank you. That's okay. Great. Thank you, Joe. See you, Joe. See yeah. you later. Joe. Uh, I was going to play The Bloom of Youth, Okay. I guess, I'll give that a shot.
Very nice. Thank Very good. Thank you. Nice job, Eric. Thank you for him. I think that's all I have in me tonight, guys. I'm going to head out. Yeah, it's getting late. Hi. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Same to you, Ashley. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see. It's probably my turn. It is your turn, yeah. Um, I don't know how many of you remember it, but um, how about Manor Hamilton, the 8th of May, in the Shenden Bells? And sometimes I just forget what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, I'm playing a tune. Where am I in the tune? <laughs> I'm there and then something, I think of something and I just get off. 
Yeah. Right. Crazy. That's Tim, where did you get your uh, notes for the Shannon Bells? Um, Off of any recording or not? I, I'm trying to think. I think I, you know, Fred played it once a few years yeah. back and, and um, he liked it. And then, and I've got it on some recordings. So I, I remember I dug it up on the session, but I can't you know, remember if I can. It's on it. Kitty Lie Over. Oh, I don't remember if I compare it to a specific recording or not. Uh -huh. I heard it today um, on that um, Conversation with the Crosses album. They do it. Oh, yeah, that's right. It is on there. Um, following, um, well, there's a tune that I don't know. It's a three tune set. The second tune is. Um, um, is the uh, other version of um, oh Cliff yeah Cliff Moore yeah the John Nocton's Cliff Moore Cliff Moore or something like that uh, no Martin Rockford yeah Cliftamore. Martin Rushford yeah Rushford okay and yeah. uh, and then and then Shannon Bells and that works too right um, but I just played that tune a couple weeks ago so yeah nice. Good. Yeah, that first tune, I've been, for some reason yesterday or the day before, maybe I was humming it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a great tune. <laughs> it's one of my favorite tunes. Yeah, yeah that, it really is. It's that was a, a beautiful one. set. Yeah, I liked it all together. Uh, petting the kitty. Yeah. Sure. Well, you guys, I'm going to sign off. It's been a yeah. lovely. It has been, yes, I think. We've been through the alphabet. We have I think a couple so. times. Yep. So good night, good seeing you guys. Okay. Good to see you, everybody. Everybody gets good night, friend. Good night. Hi, Becky. Eric. Good night, Becky. Fran, yep. Mark. Good night. Yep. Good night, John Boy. See you guys later. <laughs> Nighty night. <laughs>